Hey y'all, it's Tabitha, and today I want to share with you this app called After Focus. It's super awesome, and I love it for creating a really nice blur effect around a focal point in my photos. This is great for any products you want to showcase, or for also people portrait photos too. It makes it look really professional, like you used a camera and you didn't. So once you open the app, you'll go to Select Photo, and or you'll take a photo, and I'm picking this photo. And it'll ask if you want smart or manual. I do smart. It kind of helps you out with your lines. And then it will give you this little tutorial, which I'll ignore. And then you're ready to get started. So first you will mark the focus area wherever you want the focus to be, which is obviously right here on this object. So I used my fingers to pinch and get to that close direct point right here. So that's what you'll want to do. And then you just start tracing whichever object you want to have focus and not have the blur. So it's maybe a little bit backwards in how you would think to do it, but first you want to mark the focus area. I'm not a great uh, tracer, but the smart selection will kind of help fill that in for you. Then you will go, and if you don't like something, you can always touch the eraser right here. Erase, then touch back on the focus and make it a little better, a little cleaner. Then you'll want to do the mid blur area and that is your nice transition area between the focus area and the blur area. So it will kind of naturally go into a blur and not look like you definitely did it on your phone. So you'll go around the object and you'll always have some messy parts and so wherever you see red that will be your focus area if you don't want that to be the focus area just mark it with your finger and it will kind of clean it up and it's not going to be perfect but we're zoomed in so close that when your picture is back in full screen or whatever it's not going to be noticeable so Okay, right around there, it's not great. I would probably take a little bit more time, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the actual blur background. So you'll touch that there at the bottom, and you just start marking with your finger. And it's a little hard to see in this photo, the red, but I'm trying to mark all of that as close to the mid blur. And this really doesn't, this part especially doesn't have to be perfect. But right there, that's okay. And then I'm going to pinch back out again. And I'm going to see how this looks. So I touch the top arrow in the top right corner. And there is my blur effect, which I think looks pretty good. If I'm not satisfied, I want to clean it up a little bit more. I would just touch the left single arrow right there. And I could work on it again. There's some other details you can add in with this app, which is cool. Here, the right in the bottom, the FX2 effect, you can sharpen, which is great to have the focal area be even more defined. You can add the vignette effect, and you could also um, do a coloring effect. And as you can see, the mid blur, you'd probably want to take out here and just go directly from the focus to the background blur because you can kind of see some of the color in the mid blur area. But that would be a cool effect too. You can also choose, they have awesome filters. So if you didn't do any editing, you may not even need to because you can just use one of their filters and you can change the intensity of that filter. And then lastly, here at the bottom left, you have several different options. And the only one I'll really talk about is the actual blur. You can change it to motion blur if you were taking a sports picture or something with motion. And then you can also change the intensity of your blur. If it's looking a little too fake, then you could do less. If you really want it to be dramatic, then you could do even more. So, um... Those are some of the tools that I use with this app. I absolutely love it. Obviously, it takes a little bit more time than a professional camera, but I think it's awesome and really gets the job done in a natural way 
to help you provide focus on whatever that object may be. And if it's your product, then that's really awesome because you are really getting the viewer to hone in on specifically what you want them to see in your photo. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.